Hey guys, how's it going, Capan here? So today I want to do another video on Mavenfall, and before we get started, I will specifically mention, yes, this is a sponsored video. They have sponsored me to make YouTube content on the game, these two YouTube videos, but I did play the game, I did get hooked on the game, I was playing very actively in the alpha when they introduced me to the game, and, you know, I was, I was basically on the game before any of this started, so all my views, all my opinions are my own. That aside, um, I have played Mavenfall a lot in the past, but because I have moved, it took a lot of time, and I didn't really have much uh, much time to get into the game again. Um, in the last few weeks, the game launched, a lot of people got into it, a lot of people were playing ladder, and like the ladder meta developed, and I didn't know too much about it, I wanted to get back in, and I did mention it, you know, when I did make the first video, that I really wanted to stream the game, because I wanted to show people... Uh, at least some of the concepts of the game and how cool they were. So I ended up doing that last night and I want to show you guys some of those games and basically my adventure of relearning the ladder system. And uh, why did I play yesterday? Well there was a pretty uh, new big, somewhat big patch yesterday at least relative to the the, the amount of content in the game so far. Uh, but before that, I wanted to go over some of the mechanics because uh, a lot of you guys probably have no idea what the game is about. So I did make a video on this game um, a few weeks back. You guys can check out that video if you want to learn just how the core mechanics work so you have a better understanding when you're watching some of these games or you can just get the game yourself. It's a free game right now. It's only for iOS though. You can check out that in the description if you want. Just to go over some of the mechanics real quick, um, basically the game is a card game, but it's also like a turn-based group RPG game. You basically get a team, you get five units, and the units use abilities and spells and stuff to summon things, heal things, and damage, and you want to kill all of your opponent's units. But each unit is basically a deck, and at the start of each turn, you draw from specific decks to try to kind of combo or do some sort of coordinated strategy and there's a, there's a lot of strategy when it comes to this game uh, the, the depth is is very very deep and uh, that's really what attracted me to the game and that's what I think will have me uh, coming back from time to time whenever they release a new expansion content as far as the patch um, they had three new mavens they had the masquerade maven and uh, I got this one out of the uh, the gold that I accumulated through the daily quest in the last few weeks. Um, and it basically is just like a tank. It's very fragile, but it comes back to life constantly or something. I didn't really get to try it because it seemed pretty weak. And I was mostly trying to figure out more of the basic slash intermediate side of the ladder. They also introduced the Ice Dragon Lord. Uh, people weren't able to unlock this from what I've read, but uh, I'm sure it's coming up pretty soon, probably a few days or weeks away. And the Frost Bear Mage was the third Maven added in this patch. And uh, I only ran up against this guy once. I didn't unlock it through the packs. Um, Apparently he has a really overpowered heal totem, and he has some pretty cool freeze mechanics. So the freeze mechanic is a new mechanic in this patch where uh, a f uh, if, if a minion is frozen, he can only play one spell card that turn. You can't play, like, combo spells. And a lot of spells in the game are kind of uh, self-contained unit combo. So a unit would combo off his own spells if he has like specific two or three. So that kind of prevents that from happening. It's like an anti-combo mechanic. So it's very different from the freeze as you might expect in other games, but it seemed pretty interesting. And of course the revive mechanic uh, from uh, the Masquerade Maiden is also a new mechanic. So it seems like they're introducing new mechanics every single patch and the game is definitely going to uh, become a lot more deep as uh, more units are introduced. But uh, as far as my experience, uh, it, it started off as uh, a, a pretty disgruntled one, I'd say, because, you know, I had, like, the dream team. I had this, like, summoner tank that I kind of, uh, this some, some kind of composition that I highlighted in my first video, but they nerfed most of the units, and that strategy really doesn't work so well. Um, the main thing they nerfed is the, the mana catalyst. Um, this is basically, like, an innervate ability. It used to uh, cost one mana, but give three, and now it costs one mana, but gives two. So you only net one extra mana crystal for the card, which is really bad compared to how it was before so I couldn't play that guy anymore because uh, that's ma the main reason why I actually had him on my team and the summoner basically the whole um, the whole strategy that I had was the summoner has a skill called black doll and black doll used to cost five mana instead of six it actually used to cost four mana in alpha because I have played the game throughout its entire life cycle um, at six mana it's pretty pretty uh, expensive 
and uh, it can be pretty difficult to get the roll uh, going to get this minion buff its health and it does more damage and you know I was still able to win a few games with this comp but uh, I am still pretty high ranked in the game and at high rank you have to win four times as many games as you lose to stabilize on ladder and that's pretty hard to do uh, with the inconsistencies of the RNG involved. Uh, I wasn't quite able to do that. I did down rank a little bit with my original comp um, but I ran up against another uh, summoner composition that used this black doll but it also used this other unit that I haven't really tried beforehand. The Demon Heart has a uh, a tremor. It's his legendary spell. You can only have one of it in the deck. But the idea is that you flip the health of the opponent's highest health unit with your black doll. So you play black doll, you, you you draw cards from the summoner until you play a black doll, then you draw every single card from the demon heart to try to get tremor. And then when you flip like a 30 health unit with your black doll, because it's almost certainly going to be the lowest health unit uh, out, of, out of your field, um, well, the black doll sometimes gets like 30 or 40 health, and then it literally it kills anything it touches at the end of the turn. It's 40 damage, which is unbelievably high. Um, and I also learned using this unit that his just base attack, the uh, Inertia Blade, uh, I just basically used nine of those uh, in his, or I think it's seven of those. I think decks are eight cards each. I think I use seven of those along with his legendary spell. And uh, this, this is actually a really powerful card. It, it seems kind of crappy because three damage or two man is not very efficient as far as the game is concerned. But removing an effect can be very, very powerful because a lot of players uh, run like buffs and armor cards. And you can dispel armor in this game. So there's a lot of counterplay. Also learned that almost all the top players were, were using Field Reapers because of a Rye Bomb. Um, so there was a lot of like Spell Cleave kind of comps. But there was the opposite of that that I also tried to adjust. Uh, I, I tried a lot of gameplay with the Summoner comp, but that didn't work too well. And then I shifted with the, the Four Tank plus Healer comp, which generally has to do with the Dwarf's Frenzy attack, which was nerfed. It used to do 8 damage um, per, per front row minion or front row maven. Um, so the idea is you run at least four tanks and when you use frenzy it does uh, seven times how many tanks you still have alive when you use the spell. And if you use the spell at the start of the game, you can literally one shot one of your opponent's front units immediately as the game starts. And uh, you know it's a little bit less broken than it was before, but the idea is there's a lot of people running spell cleave and there are quite a few people running this four tank comp. I had quite a bit of success with the four tank comp because the healer, the healer counters a lot of the AOE, but the AOE is pretty strong. So there is there is a lot of play counter play going on in the ladder, and I was overall very pleasantly surprised on how healthy the uh, the meta seemed to be. Uh, a lot of the decks just have like a cycle. This counters that, but something else counters this, and. Uh, yeah, it was overall just a very fun experience, and I want to share with you guys the, the highlights of that experience with you guys today so you can see what the game is more about and, uh, you know, kind of what you can expect out of some medium to high level ladder play. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys check out the game if you're interested, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, this guy has a summoner build as well, but he has that summoner in the back row that I don't have. That one's really powerful, so it's gonna be pretty hard to win because we're both trying to like stall the game, but he can probably do a slightly better job at it. We can just go for a stun and a heal. I mean, we're gonna go for the stun no matter what. I just don't know if it's actually worth attacking here. Yeah, it really might not be worth attacking. I guess this card's pretty horrible. If he starts setting up pets before me, I'm fucked. Okay, it's just a front row pet. It's not really a big deal. It's still kind of a problem, but it's not it's not that big of a deal. Let's go pets. Alright, we got a pet. Now, I don't believe any of his units can attack the back row, but we'll see. Maybe they can. Oh, shit. Okay, I can set up my own pet, but if I do that, I can't kill his very effectively. I basically have, like, six man or do whatever I want. I should probably go for a stun. Yeah, I should go for a stun. I got a stun, good. So I can stun his guys, and my back row unit will finish it off. Get some pet tempo. 
It's just if he's running two pet classes, he probably has the absurd health buffs, which are probably going to win him the game. I'm, I, I, I'm terrified in this game. I think I have almost no chance, but we'll see. Okay, well this will enrage our guy, which is a really big deal. So how much mana can we use with him? We can use the two cards, which will deal 13 damage. And then I can use two pet buffs as well to finish him off. So basically I don't need any cards. So I should go for the tank pet for the turn after that. He just swapped the health of my highest with his lowest, but his lowest was the uh, the pet in the back. So now it hits for 26 at the end of the turn, and I have no way to kill it. <laughs> I didn't realize that combo was so powerful. There's no way I can win this game. There's no way. I need the mind control with the pet, but I, I don't have that card. Is there like anything I can do here? I don't think so. Such balance. Oh, that's a really clever comp though. I, I don't think I can do anything. If there's anything I can do, it's this. Go for the kill on his tank. And set up a, a tank that maybe he can't kill and will absorb the 26 hit. I don't know what that is. What is that? Poison attack on all enemies. Okay. That thing's pretty crazy, but... Alright. He has three middle guys, so... If we draw three of these, it's two plus three plus four. Okay, if we only draw two, it's still good enough. Let's just try that. Alright, that's good. I guess I might as well. Okay, I have a lot of units, so... I don't know, maybe we can do something here. How does she do so much damage? What the fuck is that?! Whoa, 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 whoa. Four damage plus one damage per health on friendly creature. Well, fuck me, dude. I think we won. Didn't we? No, we didn't. But we can play that. And then she gets clobbered for 11. If she has a tank she can spawn. I don't know I don't know the cards on that on that guy. But if she has a tank she can spawn, she'll she'll win. Oh, it just one shots it? She has two of those? What? What? One HP! One off lethal! Okay. Let's try again. Are you fucking kidding me? They are the last cards in the deck. These cards are completely useless. I think I lost. I don't think I've ever been that unlucky in this game, actually. I think that's unluck as unlucky as I've ever been. But these are all inter innervates. I, I top deck three innervates in a row, basically. Every other card in the deck is the AoE card that I win the game with. <laughs> that's pretty unlucky. Okay, looks like we got a tank set up here. Four tanks. If I can just get a stun, I should just win the game, honestly. Oh, I got a stun.
This comp is really dangerous, but if you can just chain stun it, it's pretty hard to lose. What kind of game still has a fatigue system? Yeah, you get... They have like a... Like, you can play like 20 games in a row, and then you have to like invest crystals. I think it's so it stops bots from just botting all day. Well, that sucks. Oh, well, I guess we're pretty fucked now. We did not draw stun. It's really bad. Yeah, we're in bad shape now. I don't even know what card that is. What is that? Okay. Three mana, eight. That's really good. The chances are you can probably kill my dwarf. Oh. He didn't kill my dwarf. Just give me a stun. Fuck. Okay, there's a stun. I can only play the stun with uh, another attack from this guy. Okay, let's do that, I guess. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble here. Mostly because we missed the stun. We just lost a lot of cards. That's the main problem there. So we're stunning them for sure. Can he do 24 damage with one guy? I think he might be able to. What? Okay, I guess not. I want the stun. Yes! So we got a stun, and then I can stun himself. Or I can go for a full heal. Soothing voice, no. I can go for 12 HP. Let's do this. Things get interesting now. His units get unstunned. He has almost no cards left though. Let's see if he can go through that. Okay. He's like fucked now though. Like my soul. I'll be amazed. I'm gonna learn something if I lose this one. But he hasn't conceded yet, so maybe maybe he has it. I don't know. Okay, that was pretty good. What do you use? Revenge dagger. Hmm. That was probably a bad idea. He can't have that many cards left though, so let's just knock out the guy. Like, he, he can't have any cards left, right? Yeah.
Is that one card? Well, one card doesn't do that much damage to two units. Okay. Oh, I go first! It's like first game in nine games, right? Oh, let's go first, then. Same dude? I think it is, yeah. It's the same comp, and it's a similar name. I don't, I don't know exactly on the name. Alright. I think I want some healing for backup. Hmm. I also want some minions. Oh, that's a good minion to get. Yeah, I have the massive full heal if my main guy gets weakened. He can do three of those next turn, right? If he does four, how much damage is that? Yeah, four does kill me. He went second, so he can do four of them. Four does totally kill my guys. I can do... 12, it's not enough. I could try to heal my guys, or I could try to put the, the pet in front of in front of them. I think I'm gonna try to put the pet in front of them. Just make another pet. But am I fucked now? Does he have four AoEs again? He needs four. And he's already played three. And I know he runs the other card, so... Are you kidding me? To the That's so fucking lucky. Alright, fine. Let's fully heal my guy. Silence alone doesn't save him here. Okay. Well, I want a front row replacement. Okay. 17 damage might be hard for him to do. Only his lightning guy can do it. He has to do it without dying, so it's it's pretty tricky here. Silence again. Okay. Well, this is really stupid. He basically drew perfectly this game. I I don't I don't know. Good luck. Well, I do have it here. I don't die. I can kill the guy in the front row. It's the same decision again. I think it's a pretty good decision, because I'm not going to be able to heal anymore anyway. And it might be really hard to kill that guy afterwards. Stop playing summoner. You think so? I mean, I lost to another summoner, and his his lineup seemed really good. So I don't, I don't know if I should stop playing summoner. I mean, I don't even know if I've lost this game, and he drew literally perfectly, right? 100% perfect. So if we win, it means it's quite fine. He has to do some serious damage here, or else he... He is actually gonna gonna likely lose. Poison. Poison again. Oh, I'm just gonna heal again. Hear me sing. 
More healing. The lightning guy can do a lot of damage, but he needs to do it right now or he's, he's actually fucked. That doesn't even matter. We got him. It's lethal, boys. He drew 100% perfectly and we beat him. against like a weird pet hybrid shit. Okay, we go first. So what do we have? We have last stand, which doesn't matter at all. Plus one armor for three turns. Seems pretty good. Now what do I want to draw from first? Probably the the dwarf, right? I want to whirlwind as fast as possible. That was a bad play. Frenzy, so it's seven times four. It doesn't kill him, which is a problem. But I'd rather have like a stun, maybe a heal on this guy. That'll do seven, huh? Well, that kind of sucks, but we're just gonna kill him, so who cares? The guy in the middle is the biggest threat right now. Okay. Well, if I get the world, I can kill another guy. No whirlwind. Is he gonna heal me the crap out of me? Oh my god. Fuck. Well, that's fucking bad. not dead, and we can just last stand, so... So let's last stand first. Die with honor. My guys literally can't die. I have to get the cure or I'm gonna lose. Okay, we got Soothing Voice. So we got Soothing Voice to heal. Oh boy. Alright, let's try it. We might have some rips here. Oh god. If I can land a stun next turn, I should win. Mark my blade. That heals my lowest uh, health guy to full health. 
I can just stun his whole row from here on out, so I don't think I can actually die. Stampede boys. Actually, I think this one's better. Well, we won even though we got pretty wrecked early on. <laughs>